everyone, welcome back for another Exos Heroes episode. So in today's episode, there is an update that is dropping tomorrow, April 8th. So with that update, are new heroes that will be arriving. And I guess you know who they are. But before I introduce them, I'll start first with announcement 2. Okay, is it okay? So announcement 1 will be those heroes. Announcement 2, we have a collaboration core raid. So a collaboration core raid, it involves actually those heroes from Danmachi. So again, um, they have actually pushed through with the collab at last. A lot of you know, a lot of people have been waiting for this. Um, me in particular, I'm not really familiar with Dan Machi. Um, I haven't played it yet, or I'm not familiar with the characters or the heroes. But again, a lot of a lot have been waiting for this. So there will be a collaboration core raid again that's dropping on April 8th after the maintenance up up to April 21st. Okay. So, this is going to be around two weeks um, for the, uh, the collaboration core raid. So, you also have your core raid shop. So, more or less, the, um, the, what's good about this is the Faded Hero Recruit Ticket um, in the fifth part um, of the Step Up Rewards. Okay? So, and you're going to get, uh, I think, Ryu Lion for this one. Also for the first one, and uh, fourth is ten nation uh, ten nation recruit tickets. Third would be fated weapon crafting ticket, and second would be fated armor crafting ticket. But again, the most valuable of these is on the fifth one. Okay, so core raid shop. Try to play it even if you don't purchase um, the premium one for this one. If you're free to play, try to play this one and see if you can get up to the fifth step up reward. Okay. So core raid pass. So we also have a core raid pass. So this is actually in conjunction with the core raid shop as well. So you can also participate in the core raid after clearing main story 7-13. Okay, so you have to clear part of the story for you to participate in the core raid. Okay, so let's move on to other other prizes or other events so collaboration celebration leafy gift seven days so at last meet new friends ham just arrived from the continent of exos heroes as a celebration here are the login rewards so again it also starts from april 8th up to the 21st okay so day one 300 levy stones day two 500 zest day three 10 die coupons Day 4, Fated Armor Crafting Ticket. Day 5, 70 Books of Experience. Day 6, 2 Holy Water of the Universe. And Day 7, it's actually Real Lion again as their giveaway. So may, more or less you'll have 2 copies of him even uh, for free. Okay. So the gift we receive will be sent to your mailbox. The event reward expires in 3 days. After 3 days. Okay. Hero Battle. Um, again, this is just a renewal of the hero battle. It's going to be Otard. So again, you see here, here, if you don't have Otard, um, you know, you can get her from the hero story or the, sorry, the hero battle. Um, next would be what else? So bug fixes, others. Actually, I've experienced one bug here, especially the automatic growth. This doesn't work well. I have a problem with this actually and uh, i'm glad they're fixing it and we move to our um second part of the announcement which is actually announcement one okay so for announcement one meaning number two it's going to be it's going to be the new characters that we're going to have from the collaboration with dan machi so collaboration character ice wallenstein real lion chance increase recruit Okay, collaboration character I Ace or Ice? Ace or Ice? I don't know. <laughs> Period is starting from April 8th to the 15th. So take note, this guys will just be for a week for her. Okay, so she is actually she is greatly admired by Belle. At the same time, she is interesting in Belle's rapid growth. I don't know what that is, but we'll proceed to her skills. So this is actually this is actually ice so we'll uh, we'll take a look at her passive so she has focus fire three 
So flicks target with focus fire mark and decreases dodge block for one round on basic attack. So gains one mana when marked target dies. Gains one mana if health of target is at 70% or more. Okay, so her passive also includes Beautiful Sword Princess. So deals 200% 200% um, additional per piercing damage to all enemies of the same row that are afflicted by charm. Okay, so um, and the skill hits a charm target. Okay, so more or less any skill that she uses when that that target is charmed all the all the heroes on that row will be affected by the piercing damage that is just it her um her passive um i can't read it <laughs> for pass oh, sorry her active skill her her s1 can't read it so required mana two ice grants herself aerial and attacks to deal um 127 damage to all enemies grants aerial mark that increases own dodge by 30 to self okay and s2 would be single damage 70 750 percent damage to one enemy it's called lil rafaga so if aerial mark is applied to on self removes removes the mark and deals 300 percent additional damage to the enemy okay so where is she going to get the aerial mark I don't see it here. Um, okay, here. Grants herself the aerial mark. So basically, it's in her S1. Okay, so increases her dodge. And the other one is deals 300% damage to the enemy. Okay, so this is just... Her kit is actually basically very simple. I'm not really to, to be so proud and happy about. It's, it's... If I may say so, it's actually average. It's nothing special. Um, her passive is actually impressive as well because it deals 20% additional piercing damage, but that's just it. The rest are not really, you know, very, very special. Um, she is actually going to be of general um, rarity, not a gold fate core. Um, they will be fated, I think, when they go out. So more or less, um, not really worthy of being, you know, being 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 a general class in terms of rarity in terms of abilities but we will go on with um collaboration character real lion so again this one um for ice she is from 8 to 15 for him he's going to be on the 8th to the 21st so for two weeks oh sorry it's a she a seasoned waitress who was once a skilled adventurer Sorry, I thought it was a he. I thought he was a he was a he. But it's a she. So she considers Belle to be the future partner of a fellow waitress sire. And uh, shows support towards Belle for that reason. She dyed her hair after being blacklisted by the guild due to unexplained reasons. Okay. Sorry guys, I I miss I misread her as a he, but she's a she. That is actually uh, better than than a he. Okay, so more or less, um, um, she's going to be available from eight to the twenty first. So he is here. Is her skills? So um, passive is mana utilization three. So increase attack based on allies' man a mana count. Gains one mana if mana count is at ten or more on on own turn. Gains one mana if enemy mana is count is at ten or more on on own turn okay so um regular mana utilization no other passive so again um just your regular hero her her s1 is luminous wind deals 127 percent damage to all enemies um okay and her s2 is crozo's magic sword so deals 535 percent damage to all enemies and it's a burst skill which is good Special can only be used once time per battle cannot be used again Weird This is pretty weird. This is the first time that a spell can only be used one time one time per battle. So uh, If it's a wave so you can only use it in a single wave So basically if you're in PvP you can really use the, you can only use this once So use this once only so 
this is i don't know i don't know what to say because this doesn't even you know it's not even a very high damage skill it can be but anyway it's it's an aoe it's it's, it's not a single target um skill so i don't know if if this justifies its one use per per battle so anyway let's go to the next so more or less the collaboration creation ca characters collaboration characters are not eligible for recruitment other than limited recruitment so again same as the last collab you cannot recruit these these heroes aside from this event <coughs> After the end of collaboration, limited recruit characters will not be included in the list of other acquisitions. So again, um, this event would be j mainly for the fans of Danmachi, and uh, more or less they would be the you guys would be would want to recruit from this. Aside from that, um, I'm not sure if um, the others who are not familiar and are not you know don't want. Um, the effects that or the skills that they bring I, I don't think that the others would you know would would pull on this especially if this is a one-time recruit event okay collaboration character cannot be obtained in Terria die station coliseum in door to creation etc okay precaution is collaboration character bell crannel is not unable to be obtained limited recruitment one i don't know what that is so limited recruit is her her probability is 0.5 percent again she's similar to a general and the real line is 0.7 percent okay so earn one recruit mileage when you recruit character 11 times and this is you must you're required 28 uh mileages for you to be guaranteed um this girl uh is okay so let's move on to okay another character which is bell crannel okay so april 15th after the maintenance up to 21st so more or less more or less here's a scenario there are three characters um ace is going to be on the first week and uh, bell is going to be on the second week while um Ryu Lion will be overlapping both of them okay so that's the deal so more or less um they will be dropping 14 15 sorry um 8 15 to 22 so more or less our next our next new hero will be dropping on april 22 presumably fc sabrina presumably i'm not, I'm not saying it is but presumably after this collab, she's going to follow suit. So again, for those of you guys who are not going to summon for this, save your zest for April 22 because presumably FC Sabrina will be dropping there. But bringing you back here, so more or less, Bell stats would be um his uh so this is going to be a he so Bell um passive is going to be counter three so counters upon taking damage deals one mana if target dials deals mana if health of target is at 70 percent or more argonaut so if under the effect of command for this one um he's going to be under wasted red for command let's go back to to um ace i forgot to mention that charmed is actually under Estorish Republic or under Jinai. So you have to bring Jinai for this to trigger. Okay, so let's go back to Bell. So this again is under command, under Garf. So, so if under the, com the effect command, which is under Garf, grants Argonaut Mark to self at the start of every turn and, and uh, then own start of every turn other than own turn. Okay, so enemy's turn. Okay, can be stacked up to seven times okay so all deals uh s1 all it, it's called firebolt i'm sorry deals 127 percent damage to all enemies so removes all argonaut marks from self and deals 70 percent additional damage for each argonaut mark removed okay so this is pretty much very good um so basically what you have here is 70 percent times seven so that's 400 490 percent additional damage if he stacks the Argonaut mark on himself. Okay. If you don't use this 
the skill. Okay, so that's extra damage to basically all the enemies. That's very, very good. And status effect, apply stun to self for three turns upon dealing additional damage. Stun for three turns. I think I could take that. That's that's pretty much three turns, not three rounds. So I think this is this is good, I think. Um, this is actually this only requires two mana, so more or less very good. Quick, quick, a quick spell that you can cast, and uh, you could cast multiple times, uh, or mo or for example, you cast S one and S two. You can squeeze that there, and I think this is a good skill, skill spell skill. Okay, sorry. Um, S two is going to be penetration, so deals five or twenty five percent damage to one enemy. So this is again is a burst spell. Record minus five, and for this one, he doesn't. It's not a one time thing, so which is very good. Okay, increases own attack speed by forty for ten turns, which is good. Okay, pretty decent character, slightly above above average. Um, I think pretty good kit, but not really. You know, not really to brag about. Um, again, slightly above, slightly better than Isis kit. Okay, so again, more or less, this is it. So, Bell is going to be recruited at 0.5% as well. So, um, equal to a a general in terms of um, in terms of um, percentage. Um, again, I think. Uh, all three of them would be um, a fated character. Okay, so that is it for for the three. So at this point, guys, I'll let you have your own judgments on if you should summon this. As a player who is not familiar with Danmachi, I don't think I would summon for them at this point. Um... I was able to summon on the previous collab, which kind of was disappointing, and probably I'm, I was burned by that. So, for this one, I don't think I will be pulling on this, um, especially if this is going to be again a one-time deal. I'd rather, you know, um, save my zest for for what do you call this for FC Sabrina. So more or less, guys, I'll leave it up to you. But if you want to summon for this banner, the best one that you will get, the, the best skills I think that has, that is going to be, you know, a quality pull will be for Bell. Um, second would be Ice and third would be, would be Ryu. Ryu is going to be free again for your pull. So, you know, um, you don't have to consider her. Um, but you have to consider Ice and uh, Bell for your pulls. More or less, that is my take, guys, on this banner. Um, write down below if you're going to summon for this banner. Um, what are your thoughts? Are you a fan of Danmachi? Um, have you ever heard of Danmachi? Uh, because for me, um, I've just heard of Danmachi during the Exos collab. But again, guys, for those of you who, who have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do because around 85% of my viewers haven't subscribed yet to my channel because if you subscribe, this helps me a great deal, okay? Anyway, guys, you do take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.